<laughs> Hello, gang. You all right? Well, what are we doing? What are we going to be doing on this build then? Eh? Well, I've only gone and got myself one of them bad boys. Yep, yeah. it's a Gundam. Shut up and sit down. Now, people don't know me, or know, and it's, you know, nothing to be uh, proud of. I'm not a great fan of them. However, a lot of you are. So, I'm always saying about people should come out of their comfort zone, so I'm coming out of mine, I'm taking the plunge, and I'm going to build him. Okay? I'm not going to build him as per the box, because to me, it's just a little bit bland for my liking. So I'm going to wrap it in urban camo decal. Okay? And it's basically an A4 sheet of that stuff. Okay, so I downloaded an image, I printed it, and I'm applying that to the finished article. So you'll see how I do all of that anyway in this video. What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to do a step by step on that. I'll just spin round and get me instructions. I'm not going to sit there and tell you how to suck eggs and how to put this together because the instructions on these are really concise, tell you everything you need to do on all of that, okay? So you don't need me to sit here and tell you how to push fit a Gundam together. Follow the instructions, they are really simple, they must be because I'm <laughs> I managed to do it without an issue and if I can do it, so can you. So we'll whiz through that, and then what, what I'll do with that is I'll build it in sub-assemblies. i use an obby's own drawer to do that in. So if I build it, get it into its sub-assemblies, and then I'll go through what I'm doing to prepare it, get the decal uh, stuff on, and then go over, lipstick and mascara it with a bit of paint, a bit of this and a bit of that. And then we'll go through the weather inside of it, making it look a bit knackered and things like that. So hopefully you enjoy it. Bear with me, because Gundams are new to me, so I might make a few boo-boos so you can all talk about me with your mates. Enjoy me for the journey. It's going to be a short series, this one. It's probably two or three episodes, if that. All right. Sit back, enjoy my inane drivel and waffling and all of that, and uh, hopefully you like the end result. See you at the end, people. Thanks for watching. Again, people. <clears throat> right. Where were we? Gundam. That was it. Right. I've de sprued it all. And I've actually gone ahead and built the sub assemblies because the instructions are really easy to follow. And I've also had a little bit of a dabble with different ideas with paint. Because on this, I want to do an urban camo on it. But I want to see how the urban camo looks as well. So I'm at that awkward stage with it. Because I know in my head what I want it to look like. So, obviously we've got a leg. We've got all the sub-assemblies built. I've had a play with some urban camo on the gun, etc. But I'm really at that point with it where I risked losing interest because I want, I want to get on. I started weathering a bit of the leg and things. But I know what I want these panels to look like. I want them with urban camo and this as, as almost contrast colour. But until I get the camo on, I'm really not sure where to go with it to be honest with you so <clears throat> what I've gone and done is got myself a sheet of decal paper <clears throat> and I've printed an A4 sheet of urban camo now I've given this 
uh, a spray with my usual fixer um, or fixative should I say I'll just get it out of the cupboard I use Plastico Clear Sealer Gloss okay now that's had a couple of coats of that I gave it one coat left it 24 hours came back gave it another coat and I've left it another 24 hours and I've now got an A4 sheet of Urban Camo and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a shape pretty much to replicate the panel slap it on the panel slap it on microset and sole let it conform trim it to shape I've now then got an Urban Digital Camo panel so I'm going to be quite selective on this sheet and I'm going to look for sections of camo that I think will, will work best on that particular piece so I'm going to try one side off camera apply them using satin sole see what they look like and then I'll bring them on screen and then you guys will be able to see and then if the results prove that the theory works then obviously I shall do the rest on camera because to mask up urban digital camo is going to be a complete and utter uh, yeah especially on you know 3D contours it was just as easy to do a custom decal sheet and then I can cut and trim and, and all of that lot as near as damn it to the shape I want get it on there let it conform and see what we look like so that's what I'm going to be doing ok um, my first test piece that I'm going to do is actually going to be the shield urban camo on there and then this section remove put a piece of urban on there as well but I want it done in such a way that it's different from the urban camo on there that's the theory so almost have a darker version of it there so I would look at this piece to go around the edges of it and perhaps this piece that's lighter in the middle so that's what I'm thinking alright people so I'm going to pause do a bit off camera come back at it and, and see how we get okay See you in a minute. Right, time to do a bit more work on my Gundam. Uh, right, where are we at? We're at the decaling stage. So we've got some pieces left to show you guys what I'm up to. bring in my decal sheet and remember rightly we had this little bad boy on a sheet of white A4 decal paper okay and I went off camera to start a bit of decaling so if you look at that piece there yeah I've turned that into that okay ignore the super shininess but as you can see it looks a little bit different and then we've moved on with <coughs> some of them and the end result is that okay that's what I'm looking at achieving and that's already been weathered that one yeah so as you can see it does come up pretty damn well Okay, and I'm going to show you how I do that over the next episode. Okay, so we're going to carry on putting on some digital camo on the rest of these little pieces. Okay, um, <coughs> the obligatory uh, smooth industries shark mouth microset and soul holder is going to come into its own on this video uh, that little bad boy just to stop me knocking things flying 
and also my little uh, parts holder. just in the middle of my uh, line of vision so no apologies people so a little move around on the old bench a minute don't need that on there so that can live on there for a minute these are just some little greeblies that I've got to paint up uh, bring me water in have a little move around uh, because I will knock things flying so I'll just sit there there for a moment <coughs> and we'll put that there so I've got a lot of clutter on my bench at the moment because I've got a hell of a lot of kits on building right garner a bit of light. There we go. Okay. So, let's put that over there now. Have a little move around of some of my brushes and equipment just to make my life a bit easier. Okay. So, let's open up my uh, set and salt. La 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 la. <coughs> right. Organised chaos sorted. So, let's fire, sort out the first bit. So it's going to be that. Okay. Now I've got one half with a decal on it. Okay. And what I tend to do is I put the decals on in pieces and then I match any of the joins with a bit of brush painting just makes it a bit easier so all I do is I look on here for a little in a little bit of a pattern with a bit of interest that's gonna take my fancy okay so I'm now looking at that little section in the corner that's so all I'm doing a little cut a room around the item Like that. And that's all I'm doing. Yeah, don't worry about the neatness, don't worry about it being exactly the right shape because I want to use as much of this pattern as possible. Yeah. So let's get me water. Little dipper in there. And I'll just leave that to sit like so. bit of micro set on the piece and that's what we're aiming for okay and in the meantime whilst that's drying there's a shield all weathered up flat black Steiner Res Primer believe it or not there's the digital camo and then it's had a <laughs> load of scratches and beaten up crud put all over it so uh, that's his shield, uh, guns that have been done in a bit of urban camo, a bit of weathering on there, a bit of dry brushing, which is what I'm going to show you on the leg. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the beginnings of his body with his head and that. There's bits of rust on the suit streaking all kinds of gubbins going on there so, uh, yeah he's looking a bit gnarly bless him <coughs> and it's the same thing as what I'm showing you here I start off with the decaling then I'll assemble all the components onto the leg 
once I'm happy with how everything's settling, I'll then go on and weather it. So literally get your decal as near as damn it as you want it. Like so. Very much where I want it already, that one. And I'll just start manoeuvring it in place. reasonably to where I want it and then straight away I'm at it with sole I'm not letting it dry I'm literally just getting the sole on it already purely because it's got to conform to quite a lot of shapes and weirdness and, and all of that so I kind of want it to start doing its job straight away. Twitching and shaking people, I do apologise. Bane of my life. Oh, there you go. As you can see, that's already beginning to melt that to where I want it to be. Let that sit to start doing its thing. And that's all I'm up to on there. I can lose quite a large section of that. sit on the top. In a little area where I can get a bit of matching going on. So let's see what is the best area to put that in. Right there. That'll do shove it on there like that. Snip off any excess. <clears throat> and that's all I'm after. Little shapes. leave him on there to do its thing and move on to the next bit. So we'll do one of them, one of them legs because it's nice and nice and evenly shaped so I reckon a bit a bit of that. Well, let's have a bit of dark on there as well so we're gonna come over like so, around there. To try to get the edges as well. Like that. Mm. 
Probably it there. That looks a reasonably interesting shape. So you can go on there like so. You can get that one. No, let's have a nice bit of black digi camo across the front of his leg there. I think that's a front section. Let's have a quick look on the kit. Yeah, it is. So we'll have that because that's sparked my interest, that shape. Get rid of that. Next piece can go and live in there. that so let's get a little bit of micro set on here and get that piece on So, we'll slide a room, I'll get that as near as I can to where I want it to be. There you go, straight round, like that. Looks quite brutal at this stage. what we want. Straight on with me salt. Like that. Let that start shaping itself. Now I'm going to put that on a little spike just so that I can handle it a bit easier because I've got the shakes. can look at that and see which areas I need to cut already. I'm going to let that start shaping itself and conforming. So there's another one. interesting pattern we can get out of it. Like so. Just come down a bit to catch all the edges.
go. Start conforming that to the shape of what we want. And at this stage the temptation is to faff around with it. Don't do it. Let the set and soul do their job. Come back to it a bit later. All we're trying to do at the moment is get the decals on the surface and let them start conforming their cells. Okay. Our part's done. You know, let the liquids do their job. Let's have a look how my little mate's doing down here. See, already that's shrinking back into shape. So I'll just give him a little persuasive brush. Just to keep the process going. Don't worry about the edges. At this stage I have a neat little trick that I use to, to sort all of that. And all I'm doing now is I'm just going over with a little bit of sole on a few bits. Right. Next one's this bad boy. Now these are a bit more in depth, these ones, because you've got compound curves and all kinds of gubbins going on on them. So I tend to do exactly what I've just done there. I'll drape this piece over it and just leave it. Again, let the, the set and soul do their job. These uh, little side leg pieces do take a little extra work on the conforming side, but once they start, like I say, just leave it. That's all I do. You know, and you, you'll see it start doing its thing. its thing it will quite happily conform to what you need it to conform to. <clears throat> and then that'll only leave us his arm then. Let's drop a little bit more set on there. Don't look pretty at the moment or conformed, does it? But it will. And I'm just putting on a bit of soul straight away. area I'm actually trying to get to adhere first is the middle bit. Once that starts, everything else will fall into place. So that's another one. On. You may not think it's on. It's on. 
try and put a little claw in there, I think, just to hold that. There you go. Okay. Uh, come back at him again with a little bit of microsol. Okay. But it's already conforming to what I want it to do. It's compliant. all you're after. A little bit of compliance. Right, and I'll just roll my cotton bud along. Just to get any air out that I don't want in there. And that's all we're doing. across whilst it's nice and damp okay? and that's already shaping up quite happily okay. well, good things come out of the weight <coughs> let's have a look at his arm now I want to dissemble this couple of little bits, give it a bend around like so, I and mean, then I'm going to basically wrap that section, put a piece on there, single piece on here, and a tiny piece on here, and then I blend it in with paint, because they're quite complex little shapes, uh, a little bit of brush painting, it won't work, you know, it won't hurt, it'll do. So, Let's have a look, that's his left arm, so we'll want something with a bit of interest on the corner of that. So there's a perfect pattern. So that's going to go on there, like that. Side. So we'll do the opposite on there. Uh, let's have a look what's an interesting shape. Actually around about there again, so Summer. Bosh, have you some of that? Like so, and then that's going to come around the corner, that's going to come around the edge, like so. Okay, nice ones on. Again, don't worry about it conforming straight away. All you want is to get it on there, get it on the surface. All the faffing can come once you start putting your soul on. And we're already 
way onto the salon. Just getting it all round the edges. Like so. Yeah, there you go. Same on this side. Do its thing. We're actually going at quite a decent pace here. See how you're getting on. Over there. Probably do have a bit of uh, cotton bud treatment on there. Just lightly wet a bud. I'll just roll it across the decal. But already that one has sunk right down to the shapes I want it to be in that short time. Give it a dip in a bit of sole now. Just get any soul into the little crooks and nannies. That's all I'm doing. Right. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. As they say. Again, just roll it across. Just to get all your, your sexy little shapes in place. Like so. And just come at it. Move your brush. Just like that. That's all we're doing. There you go. Cool. It's coming on all right. I'm liking that. I'll give that little bit more of a dung out on there. Not worried about any creases at this stage, they'll come out. Simple as they'll come out. With just a deft persuasionary rub with me thumb. Soul on this. And that's all you do, just keep picking them up, a little bit of soul, leave them to settle, go back, a little bit of soul, leave them to settle, and it'll do its thing. Quite happily do its thing. What one's that? That's a, a side panel. Start tickling this one now, getting it to start shaping. There you go, let's 
coming along now. Right, let's figure out an arm. So, we need a strip now that we're going to wrap around the upper section of his arm. Now on this I tend to cut quite close because you're not going to really be able to get in there with your brush or your knife or whatever you're using to cut it. <coughs> so I'm looking at how it's going to wrap all the way around like so and then I'm going to chop it off round about there. And that becomes the upper arm piece. straight away so I'm just going to cut it. Like that. <clears throat> That's going to be there. A nice big feisty bit of black on there. Okay. And uh, I'm even going to get a strip out of that for the front. Happy days. Even better. So I've got that bit for there, and I've got that bit for there. Get in there, mate. And I reckon about there. Lose it halfway. I might even get the front end back out of that. So I'm going to cut that right in half because I know I'm going to go round the edges with my brush. And I reckon that is going to be the arm pretty much done. And then I want a bit for his hand. And it's going to be a simple, simple piece for his hand. So we can have that bit there. Like so. And that is the digi camo side of things becoming done. See where I can get the back of his hand off. Probably won't. So what I'll do is go to plan B. And amputate it. Like that. Do 
his hand. And then by the time the forearms sorted, I'll do the end pieces. Yeah, loving it. Unhappy Uncle Festa. Get him some of that. That slap straight on there. A bit of microsalt just to get that flowing to where I want it. Like that. We'll comply. Resistance is futile. Leave that hand to shrink back and do its thing. That then leaves two pieces for the front and back of the forearm. So and a piece in there. And that is nearly finished on here. So I want to continue that pattern around like so. And that's how I want that, believe it or not, because all these little bits I can touch up with paint. It's just getting the initial panel covered with this technique. 
all you're interested in doing is taking the bulk of the work out of it. Because trying to mask this, you know, would have been an absolute nut ache. And for me, I'd rather faff around with a bit of decal on the bulk of it to get the te texture that I want and the shapes that I want. And then I can come around and uh, shape them as I need to. See, I'm pretty happy with that already. So all I do to shape the edges is a sanding stick. And I use it to cut the decal. So I'll come along the edge like that. All the way along. Like that. All the way around. Give it a blow. That's cut the decal to shape. Just like that. Yeah. Seems brutal, but it works. Well, it works for me. And then you can just go around and touch up the edges with a bit of paint afterwards. Okay. Come along. All the edges. With your sanded stick. And it acts like a knife. Voila. One trimmed decal. Okay. And I'm just going around all the edges of that doing this. Just got a little crease there that I've spotted. Don't want that on there, do we? We'll go. There you go. Yeah. You'll comply. Like that. So you've now cut your decal as near as damn it to where you want it to be and then I just go quickly over it again with a little bit of sole now that it's trimmed to where I need it to be I'll give that a good soak in I'll put it on its holder and I will not touch that now until that's sorted and that, my friends, is how I do that. I've got the others to do. Similar technique, just stretch it, sole, sole it, go round it with a bit of uh, decal solution. And just keep conforming the decals until I've got to the point where I can sand the edges. So again what I'll do is I'll let all of these conform as near as damn it and then I'll go back through how I sand the edges with you all again just so that you understand that it can be done that way and it stops you worrying too much about it. Okay, so I'm at the point really where I can get the scissors out and get rid of the excess on that. to try to help the decal sit down a bit better. Very similar to how I did my Barry Sheen and Kenny Roberts motorcycle fairings, this technique. So start from the middle, just fan your way out. You know, you can do it with cotton buds and, and all of that lot, you know, and stretch all the creases out bit by bit by bit. And eventually, you'll end up with a conformed shape. 
به چشمانی من Tend to use actually use me thumbs, and I'll just splay the decal a bit, I'll rub it with me thumb, get the crease out, come around the corner, do the same for the next one, and eventually you're pushing all the creases right out of the way to the edges, and then you can just get rid of them. Okay. Already that's beginning to form the compound curve. I'll leave that and leave the others leave you there and then we'll come back they'll all be dry and ready for a bit of sanding and then we can uh, give them a coat of varnish to uh, protect them and we'll start our weathering on that uh, which is a few um, oil streaks uh, bit of um, streaking that sort of thing on there to just give it a nice effect because I'm after an urban sniper effect but I want to do it where he's probably been out in the field for quite a while so he's going to be covered in uh, you know, detritus of all kinds of origin you know bit of grit, bit of, you know, you know what I mean. So it's going to be a bit mucky. And like I say, the end result is a nice weathered, gnarly, knackered, been out in the wars, needs a good clean, you know. But yeah, he's done his job, in he? You know what I mean? He's been out there and hunted down a few people and given them a slap and uh, done his job, mate. So... Yeah, I'm going to pause because I need a cup of tea and we'll come back and finish off the decals and get him assembled and uh, start looking at the uh, last stages of the weathering with him and then we'll call him done. See you in a moment. <laughs> 